I have what I want. And no one will ever take it from me again. Welcome back to another episode on B-Hall Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. Today we'll take a look and review the end of the miniseries WandaVision, just finished on Disney+. With the end of Phase 3 on the Marvel Cinematic Universe, or MCU, we finally get a glimpse at what is in the future for Phase 4 with WandaVision kicking things off on a smaller screen. One of the most damaged characters in the storyline, besides Iron Man, was Wanda Maximoff as she witnessed her beloved Vision being killed by Thanos for the Mind Infinity Gem. Losing her twin brother in Avengers Rise of Ultron, Vision was the one to pull her out of her grief and loss during that time but now begs the question on who will do that for her with the loss of Vision in Avengers Infinity War. WandaVision was produced by Marvel Studios and released by Disney to premiere on their streaming service Disney Plus in 2021. The series is the start of the MCU for Phase 4 and is the first of many television miniseries to hit Disney Plus from Loki to Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Taking place right after Avengers Endgame, Wanda is still in grief from her loss of vision to Thanos. She is recorded to have taking Vision's body and then creates a whole town to be her dream world where Wanda and Vision could live in peace. The world is separated into episodes like Family Sitcoms found in decades worth of television and mimics the Truman Show on how their lives have become a television show that changes as the world changes as well. Each episode as it gets even more complicated she has twin boys that marks a moment in Wanda's life that she wished that she could have experienced. Unknowing to her on what has happened, she wants to live in this fantasy as it is a coping mechanism for her grief and loss of vision. I personally found the series a bit long in the tooth with the mystery behind Wanda's world and the antagonist as there are multiple interpretations on what is going on. Overall, the viewer is forced back and forth on who's really at fault, but does come to a climatic end with the usual superhero battle most look towards to. The character development is fun and whimsical as you see Wanda and Vision act outside of their normal brand of themselves. As the mystery gets closer and closer to be uncovered, the themes do get darker but are explained thoroughly. The biggest issue that I have with the series is the pacing. It does do homage to older and classic family sitcoms that was nice but could have been done faster with a climatic finale in just two and a half episodes. I found my interest in the series to be extremely up and down, hoping the next week's episode some sort of explanation was coming. Overall, the series is about grief and how you handle it. With Wanda's powers, she is able to manifest those dreams and wishes to reality, which compounds the issue more and forces her to decide who really suffers, her own torment or those around her. With this nice inception and push on the overall MCU, this is a must watch to know what happens next or know how it might relate later in other films on other shows. Although very slow at first, the series does reward and pick up at the end with a resolution that piques the entrance for season 2 or dare I say it, the next Doctor Strange film, Multiverse of Madness, to be released in 2022. WandaVision gets a 7.5 out of 10 for its must watch the next look at Phase 4 in the MCU. Nice start to the many mini series to come but hopeful for more improvement in pacing making the series a must watch from beginning to end and not just halfway. That's it for me on this look at WandaVision miniseries. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Not my neighbor. You're deaf.
definitely not my friend. You are a stranger and an outsider. And right now you are trespassing here. And I want you to leave. 